Jamaican accents in a Kanye. I want to hear a Jamaican accent. You're not like anyone else. You find the way you are. Did you do this all yourself? A smile ignites the room. Sending us up to the time, you know what's called tell. Representing for Blessed D. God. Yo, no matter where you do me, I'ma be successful. Some of them are selling me, sell me soul to the devil. Hey peeps, it's your girl Blessed D. Gaza Diva and welcome back to the Blessed D. Gaza Diva channel. I don't know what caused this to resurface. I don't know. I've never seen it before. If you've seen it be before, tell me now down below in the comment section. I think it's kind of old. Some people saying it's not old. But anyhow, I know it's old because Vibes Cartel has no phone in prison. Anyway, this is an alleged video of Vibes Cartel talking to Kanye West. Let's take a look at it and then we get into it. I'm gonna try to be a couple of some disrespectful Jamaican accent talking to Vibes Cartel, man. Like, nah, man. <laughs> man, I just want I just want to send you some love, bro. Yeah. Nick Nick, what's up? Yeah, I'm good, man. Just uh shit out here working on this joint. So one more artist, one more superstar on the list of persons who want to meet Vibes Cartel. That's the only thing I can say, all right? And remember, this is alleged. We have no proof that he was speaking to Vibes Cartel. And as I said, even if he were speaking to Vibes Cartel, it would have been prior to Vibes Cartel's incarceration because Vibes Cartel has no phone in prison. So as you can see in the video right there, Kanye West talking allegedly to the big boss and Kanye West is all in him glory. And of course, you know, Buster Rhymes have to be there chugging him on to say, listen to me, I saw you have to talk to the Don. I saw you have to talk to the boss. You have to go put on your big accent right now. And if you hear Kanye West in the video saying that man is trying to get me to talk to Vibe Cartel in my worst Jamaican accent, blah blah blah. Now, as I said, this video is very dated, and this video, Vibe Cartel has no phone in prison, so nobody should be running on here and writing no title on this video with on no other channel to say, oh, Vibe Cartel talking to Kanye West in prison. False. Wrong. Bang. Not like that. Vibes Cartel now have no phone in a prison. Now, when you look on the entertainers across the musical sphere, you see and prove that Vibes Cartel is the king of dancehall. When you see how these people react to Vibes Cartel, when you see them talk to Vibes Cartel or talk about Vibes Cartel, it is like the man them are talking about, the genius, the quintessential example of what a musical world that they don't understand really embodies or the person that sits off the at the heights of it and this is why some of the people them bad mind vibes cartel because when you talk about vibes cartel on the international musical scene nobody talks about them like that when you look when you look at vibes cartel birthday that just passed vibes cartel was treated like a national hero you would have th thought that vibes cartel especially in the case of you know what quote unquote they said happened with a particular telecoms company when i call them name by right here so i may have to tell you said them are one of the company them were big up vibes cartel more than anything else for him birthday for sure you said the man thing no lily who in dancehall has ever gotten them fanfare there with vibes cartel get tell me now down below in the comment section on vibes cartel birthday vibes cartel is being celebrated on his birthday like he's a free man walking up and down no other artist you can tell me one art dancehall artist down below in the comment section who is celebrated on their birthday more than vibes cartel name them down below in the comment section right now Name them down below in the comment section. And as per usual, I'll be down there to talk to you and have that discussion and tell me why. Because some people birthday come and it, it, it come like it never did happen. Some people born and I don't even know which day they're born. And this is why Vibes Cartel fan base is always so relevant. And this is why Vibes Cartel, because as the man on the ER said, Donovan Watkins or whatever Watkins him name you hear what the man say, Vibes Cartel feeds his fan and we listen to him. We gravitate towards him. And not only Vibes Cartel having regular fans like me or other Jamaicans or other people in the Caribbean, the likes of Kanye West, the likes of Buster Rhymes, Rihanna, Nicki Minaj. If you've not yet watched that video that I posted on Vibes Cartel, birthday with all the superstars talking about vibes cartel what they like about vibes cartel and the work that vibes cartel has done with them you can check out that video now it was posted it was like my second or 
sorry, three videos ago, and you can see all the details and the canons. Everybody talking about Vibes Cartel and the goodness of Vibes Cartel. And to see this video again with Kanye West only proves and gives credence to the fact that Vibes Cartel is an international superstar. And you are going to hear that, oh yeah, he's been in the business for almost 20 years, so people are going to talk about him. This is why he should be respected. Any artist in a dance or within again size up to Vibes Cartel. If you don't have the likes of Kanye West, if you don't have the likes of Jay-Z, Beyonce, and those people talking about you, you're not worthy to be talking about Vibes Cartel level or putting anyone on Vibes Cartel's level. Yo, this is a good video. I have to watch it again because the video just bad like that. Yo, it's a nice it's video. <laughs> I'm gonna try to be come up with some disrespectful Jamaican accent talking to Vibes Cartel, man. Like, nah, man. <laughs> man, I just want I just want to send you some love, bro. Yeah. Yeah, Nick, Nick, what's up? Yeah, I'm good, man. Just uh, shit out here working on this joint. So as you can see in the video there, the man coming like, just like any one of the Gaza fans, if you had an opportunity to speak to Vibes Cartel, make sure no say only that shell shock. The amount of DMs I get sometimes, yo, Gaza diva, you know, say if I talk to the boss and this and that and rate it, oh, me I talk to Vibes Cartel people, me I tell them this for the last time, Vibes Cartel don't have a phone in prison, so how diva going to talk to Vibes Cartel? Only tell me, oh, me I go talk to him, so I for just ease on yourself, but I understand the fanfare, and I understand the excitement, because me tell you, Vibes Vibes Cartel is next to none, and anytime you meet Vibes Cartel in person, you will understand why Vibes Cartel is loved so much. What you see on the TV, what you hear on the radio is exactly what you get in real life from Vibes Cartel. Comedic, smart, intelligent, cool, mellow, and airy, best artists to ever come across are Grace, the land of dancehall and the international stars are reminding us consistently if you don't appreciate vibes cartel we will appreciate vibes cartel if you don't appreciate vibes cartel in jamaica we will appreciate him in dominica if you don't appreciate him in jamaica we will appreciate him in saint vincent and the grenadines and the list goes on and on vibes cartel birthday this video and other videos that we've seen around with people talking about vibes cartel even if it's not vibes cartel allegedly on the phone that he's talking to look how the man face light up when him, him say he might, he might talk to vibes cartel and i, and I just want to want to show some love man like the man literally is in awe this is one of the biggest superstars kanye west in the world in total awe of possibly talking to the world boss everybody knows kanye west if you don't know kanye west me don't know when you born or which era you born in but kanye west if you don't know him from rap world if you know him from the writing world if you don't know him from the jay-z world then you must know him from the sunday service world and if you still don't know him from them world they just know say Vi um, kanye west is a very very big international superstar that has businesses with the likes of jay-z kim kardashian's husband and kim kardashian's children's father so kanye west is really known across the entire universe so to see him so humbled at possibly talking to vibes cartel make we see how great our artist is vibes cartel is the quintessential example of one of the biggest things that has ever come out of jamaica you know that normally when i am growing up in jamaica when i was growing up in jamaica as a tat right and you see certain people on the streets nobody not really look upon them like oh i see my star and whatever me see being the man in the streets me not feel away me see certain artists when well, I won't call them name because I don't want it to look like a disrespect or anything. Me and my other little friend them see them in the streets. I wanna reel up and win a go on. But when we see Vibes Cartel, may I tell you that was pandemonium. On more than one occasion, we got, got the opportunity to interact with Vibes Cartel. And let me tell you something, people. When you see Vibes Cartel, you understand that same enigma, that same power, that same aura where Vibes Cartel draw and bring to music is the same aura you're going to have when you meet Vibes Cartel in the real world. So, how oh, you see Kanye West behaving right now? I mean, this is a huge superstar. How he's behaving by even talking to Vibes Cartel is how people normally behave around or about um, Kanye West. Just to see him in this light talking about my artist your artist our gaza nation artist in this vein jamaican tycoon jamaican dancehall tycoon jamaican international star like this 
we know that this is not something normal. Vibes Cartel is the quintessential example of dancehall. He continues to bring dancehall on the, on the map. It is the only artist that you've ever heard. All the big other artists where you hear so them say I sell more than Vibes Cartel. Yes, they're all calling the Sean Pauls, the Shaggies. I don't have a Shaggies. I don't see anybody behaving like that over them. And nobody na, uh, and then some people might say, well, nobody no need to behave like that over them. But there's nothing for to, to really behave like that over them for. They are not a true representation of our hardcore dance or culture when you look at bob marley and how people behave over bob marley it's the same way people are behaving over vibes cartel right now and there is nobody other than a hater who can say otherwise even after vibes cartel's incarceration we continue to see where vibes cartel is carrying this genre on his back people i enjoyed the video let me know down below in the comment section if you enjoyed this video and as per usual we will have a discussion in the comment section if you've not yet subscribed to my channel please hit the subscription bell so that you get Get all notifications if you've not yet smash the like button on this video smash the like button and send this out i'm out